If you're new to our channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Welcome to the Wisconsin Vegetable Gardener. I'm Joy Baird. Well, it's time to harvest some of our zucchini. This is our zucchini bed. We've got several early plants that we started under cover, and then we have some back here that's just starting to germinate, and that is kind of the way we have done it so we don't have 12 plants producing 12 pounds every three days. So harvesting zucchini, such as tomatoes or cucumbers or peppers, you just don't want to yank it off the vine. And I'll demonstrate here. We've got several ready to harvest and you can harvest zucchini at really any stage. However, you want to keep in mind the larger it is, the tougher it becomes. If you, and we've all experienced this, we come out, we see zucchini, I'll get it tomorrow. You forget about it three days later. It's about a baseball size length and the size of a basketball and it's about 15 pounds. Totally inedible, but that does make good ingredients for zucchini relish. So it's not a total waste. You can turn that into something that is edible. So what we want to do here is if we just come and take and pull it off the vine, yeah, you could probably twist it off, but you can potentially damage the plant and the fruit here. So what we want to do is take scissors or snips and we want to get down in here. I'll let you see this. And I just want to cut it just like that. This is a good size, about eight inches long. Nice, good, edible size. The seeds inside are going to be palatable. They're not going to be mature like you would with that giant one. So that's a good size there. Come around here, cut a couple other ones right. off here. All right, so we're going to, even though this one's small, I'm going to remove it because it's edible. It's, it's good size for one person. This one here is a nice store size one. So we're just going to get in here and you can see I've got many other ones, one, two, three, four, five. I got a bunch of them that's going to come on here really relatively soon. So when I get in here and see the plant, I can do that. and It's not going to hurt the plant. I can lift the plant up, get in here, cut that very easily, get in here, cut this one very easily. And then I can drop the plant back down the way it was. So that's how you harvest. We would recommend harvesting any crop is to clip it off of the plant, not pull it off. Beans, you can kind of get your thumbnail in there and pop it off that way. But if we've all ripped the beans off and done uh, more damage than good. Now, the other thing is a lot of people have said, can you trellis zucchini? And you, you can. However, you would want to start that very early in the season, such as maybe something uh, uh, back in this area here where they're just now coming out, just now sprouted. You want to put your cage around it. And then as they grow, you can corral that thing up or you can put a stake in this instance, if you're very limited on space, and work it up the, up the stake. However, you want to be very, very gentle with this because if you twist too much, you're going to snap that. So there's a lot of good videos online, a lot of good illustrations on how you can trellis your zucchini. But we find that if you can just have a little space, it'll do just fine. It'll fill this bed out just nice and we won't have too much problem. So harvesting your crops, clip them instead of pull them. You'll do the crop, the plant, and the crop a big favor. Thanks for watching. Join me again next time for more organic gardening. I'm Joy Baird and this has been the Wisconsin Vegetable Gardener. For more information, please visit thewisconsinvegetablegardener.com.